Are you looking to bring in some graphics and visuals into your Zoom call using a virtual camera and you have decided to use OBS? Well, if that is the case, then you are in the right place. I am going to walk you through how to set up your first few scenes in OBS streaming software so that you can bring that into your Zoom meetings and have more impact and bring in those visual elements to your Zoom call. Now, if we have not met, my name is Kat and I help you create professional and engaging looking online presentations. Let's get to it. So we are starting out with OBS open on our computer. And when you first install OBS, you won't have any scenes. Now you have to have one scene. So I have selected main camera is what I have called my primary scene. But as you'll see in this preview window, there's nothing there. So we need to add some sources. So let's first add our camera. So we add the little plus and select video capture device. Now my camera is a Sony, so I want to name it based on the camera that I'm adding. Now I want to select my camera from this list. Mine is connected through a cam link. So now you'll see, here's my picture. This is me, but it's way too much of my room. I do not like how wide this is. So we are going to adjust that in a moment, but we want to press OK to get that camera set up. So now it's in a portion of the window and I actually want to kind of drag that out and then drag this window so that I get it to where I like. So I actually want to drag it a little bit more. And let's say this is all right for this demonstration. So now I've picked, this is what's going to show as my primary camera. So when I am in a Zoom meeting, this is mostly what people will see. If I wanted to be a little bit more cropped, I could do that. But this sets the stage. So now we want to create our next scene, perhaps with a title. Now, I don't want to lose this camera positioning. And also if I'm switching between scene to scene, I don't want my camera moving all around. That's really disorienting. So instead of saying new scene, I'm actually going to right click this and duplicate the scene. Now this one will be the title. So I will name the scene title. Maybe this is your name. If you're doing an introduction, whatever you want to call it. So now we have our title and we already have our camera set up and it's positioned the exact same so that when we toggle between these two scenes, the camera is not moving, but now we want to add an actual graphic. So if you have my quick start downloads, which came with the PDF on how to set up your virtual camera in zoom, you will already have access to these. And if you don't, you can grab that. I've got that in the link below, but all of these are ready for you so that you can get started really quickly with your virtual camera. So let's bring in what we call a lower third, which is something like a title or your name that you would see at the bottom of a screen. And I'm going to bring in the white one. Now you can actually just drag this into your window and then position it where you want. You can also drag it into your sources. So let's say I drag the gray bar. You can drag it in the source or in the window, but I don't actually want this one. So I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to remove the gray one just by clicking the minus button. So now I've got my white one. I'm going to put it to the bottom. So this will be where the title of the session will land. So now we need to add an actual title. Now, if you had already prepared the title in advance, you could just bring in your graphic and it already has the text. That's something that I would do. However, in this case, you can add text. So let's click the plus and we are going to add text. So the text will be the session title because we're naming the actual text and now we actually write the text. So this one will be annual planning meeting. And you can see that you could change the font and you can kind of scroll through whatever you like. We're just going to leave this for now and you can actually change the size. So right now it's really big and that's okay because you can actually scale it down. It'll be a slightly higher quality, although that's really, really big. Let's do 150. Now you can scroll down here and see the other options and the color, because I have a white background, I actually don't want a white title. I want to select black, but on OBS, you'll see that they have two different colors. So now it's going from black to white, which I don't want. So we're going to make sure that both colors are set to the same one so that we have just a black text going on here. 
And if you want, again, you can add a drop shadow or not. That is up to you. And we will say, okay. So now we have our text that are showing up on this preview window. We want to drag those down. Now, if you think that's a little too big, you can just drag that and then move it to where you want to position it. So now we can see we've got our title, it's the annual planning meeting, and we've got our background. That's our title scene. Now let's create another one. I recommend always going back to your main camera to duplicate because you want the camera to stay the same, but you don't necessarily want to add all of the other graphics from another scene. Now this one will be the agenda. So on this agenda, I want to have a sidebar where I'm walking people through what we're going to talk about in the Zoom meeting. So in this agenda, I'm going to grab a side banner. So let's grab the white one and we want to drag and drop. Now it happened to land exactly where it was, but you can always position it. Maybe you want it to be on the other side, but let's have it here on this side. Again, now we have to add text. So let's go into our sources, click add text, and this one will be the agenda. Oh, yes, the scene is called agenda. So this will be called agenda items. <laughs> you want to make sure that all your scenes do you have scenes and sources have different names. That is something that you need to watch for in OBS. So in this case, I'm going to have the title and maybe I actually want the title to be on its own. And let's check. We want this to be black and also black and for size once again it's huge so let's just bring it down a little bit and it's still too big so we'll just drag it down to a size that we like but let's position this agenda and now we're going to add more text that should have been called agenda title but we'll call this agenda list and now we could go in and let's add our list. So we are going to have introductions and we want to have new initiatives. Maybe we want to have a budget update. And finally, let's, we will review milestones. So once again, we want to probably pump this down a little, let's say 125. And we want to make sure that is the right color. So we select black for both and we say, okay, that's really big. So we want to drag that in and drag that below. Now this is an example where I have used two different texts because I wanted agenda to be a little bit larger and to stand out. And then this way you now show up in your zoom call with the agenda. Now, what I would recommend is to actually create your own graphic where you have all of the text laid out. You can do that really quickly and just export it as an image and then drag that image in just like we did with the background, but this one would have the text on it. That's much easier. You don't have to spend time picking your font colors and getting all of that set up. It'll be ready to go. But for this purpose, we just wanted to get started quickly. All right, now let's say that we want to have a screen share, so a different type of scene. So let's go back to our main camera and we are going to duplicate again. And this will be our screen share. Now the screen share is where we actually want to show part of our screen. <laughs> so we are going to add another source, which will be seeing some of the image. So in this particular one, we have a few options. There's window capture, and there's display capture. There's also browser. I'm gonna choose display capture. And this will be, I'll call it browser because I wanna show a website on the meeting. So now I want to pick my secondary display because I have two monitors. So that will be the one that I'm showing. And you can actually crop it, but I'm going to crop that in the actual window. I'm gonna configure that. So the other thing I wanna add is I want to show my camera, but we're going to set these up in a moment. What I'd like to also have is a screen share overlay. So I have a couple here in this pack. So let's drag the blue one. So now you can see I've got a blue screen share overlay where I've got the main window where I will have my browser. And then I also have a window for me and my camera. 
the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually hide this screen share, which you can do by toggling this on and off. So I'm gonna hide that and select the browser. And a trick with OBS is that you can press either Alt or Option, depending on which computer you're using. So when you hold that down and drag it in, you're actually just cropping the sides so that you're just showing the browser. And you can do that from all edges. Now, because we have the screen share, we'll be able to position it. But now we've changed those shapes so that when it comes time to have this screen share, I can actually just drag this and position it where I like. So now when I'm actually scanning the browser, you can see that I can move up and down on the website, and, but it's positioned in the square. But now there's me. So let's actually, we're gonna hide the browser for a second. So you can see that my camera is still taking up a lot of space. So let's select the camera and I'm gonna actually move it so that I can now drag it so that it is smaller because I obviously need to be a little bit smaller to fit in this window. But now I've dragged it so I'm smaller. I can fit in this little picture and picture window. Now what I wanna do is use that Alt feature again, but I actually only have to crop one side. It's this part and I actually don't even have to crop it because technically once I show the browser, it'll cover. So if you have your camera at the back and then your browser, your browser can cover it. However, I do wanna show you that on this camera, you can do the same thing where you press either Alt or Option and just drag that in. So that even if the browser was invisible, I still wouldn't be overlapping at all. So that is a way that you can set up your screen share in OBS so that you are ready to be able to speak, show yourself and show your screen. Now, of course, you can just set up a scene with just your screen share, that is completely okay. But I find when it comes to having an engaging presentation, having you on the camera definitely helps. So this, now you have your scenes. So now we can toggle between the main camera, the title, the agenda, and the screen share. And now we're ready to bring in our virtual camera into Zoom where all of these graphics are going to show up exactly as they do in this window in our Zoom call.